Welcome back. Good Friday evening to you all. What a beautiful day. Not as warm as the last couple of days. Not as stormy, though, uh, either here. 63 degrees, the current temperature in Helena. West winds up to about 20 miles per hour. And look at all that blue. Fair weather, friendly cumulus clouds out there as well in Great Falls. 60 degrees with, uh, again, wind gusts a little pesky this afternoon. Get used to it here because uh, that wind will return on Sunday. We get a little break from the wind tomorrow. Current temperatures, pleasant evening, but if you're outside this evening, those temperatures will get a little on the cool side, uh, especially once that sun goes down. You can see the uh, current sustained winds, sustained 20 miles per hour in Great Falls and in Helena. A couple little showers up here from the Sweetgrass Hills over through about Chester and Haver uh, to the Bear Paws again. A couple of raindrops and also a few snowflakes down around Cook City and the Beartooth Mountains. Here's the big picture. We've got one, two, three, four storms here right over the United States. And I showed you the jet stream. Well, that jet stream is delivering storm after storm after storm here into the country. So while well, we're not talking about any major storms, there's a lot of activity going on, a very progressive pattern here. And a couple of those showers out there will really die down here tonight. It's a beautiful, beautiful night. Venus very close to Jupiter in the western sky uh, shortly after sunset here. Tomorrow starting out with a lot of sunshine and the temperatures will respond accordingly, getting a little warmer by uh, than today by about five, six degrees warmer or so. And the wind won't be that bad here. Uh, looking at a little breeze northeast Montana and also up there off of the Rocky Mountain front, but a little breeze. Uh, 10 15 mile per hour wind. Watch what happens though later in the afternoon. A few thunderstorms approaching places like Butte American, Boulder, and Helena, uh, parts of Lewis and Clark County, Augusta up off of the Rocky Mountain front as well. Could see a couple of thunderstorms late tomorrow afternoon and evening. So while the day starts out fancy and nice and shiny, it's not going to end it that way. Just a couple of thunderstorms there, but a stronger front will come through here. Saturday night into Sunday morning. Look at the mountain snow along the Continental Divide west of the Divide Sunday morning, but not much in the way of moisture with this front. What will happen is this front will push through Sunday morning. We'll have a little cloud cover around early on, but by the afternoon, it's very similar to what we're looking at today with mostly sunny skies and a really stiff west wind of about 15 to 30 miles per hour. Some big storms into eastern Montana here, but uh, Sunday we start out with a little showery weather and we see that sunshine and wind increase through the afternoon. Here's the forecast for tonight down into the 30s here for many locations, so a little on the cool side. Skies will mainly be clear and here's the forecast for tomorrow looking at a really nice day. 60s and low 70s here. A couple of thunderstorms developing over the western mountains and coming over the continental divide by about 6, 6.30, 7 o'clock. We'll start to see some of those storms coming down into the lower elevation. Sunday, here's the front. I think there's a better chance for thunderstorm activity in eastern Montana. Lewistown, you'll have some sunshine there as well. And after a couple of showers early around Helen and Great Falls, I think that uh, sunshine will increase and the wind will increase. So not a bad day on Sunday. Monday, an active day here with showers around, some mountain snow here as well. Should not impact travel over the mountain passes, but uh, some flakes will be flying and it will be windy. We've got two low pressures near the state here. And then into Tuesday, another one goes right down through the state, keeping some showers and some wind around. So the uh, weather will remain active as long as the jet stream keeps sending these little impulses towards the state. Tomorrow, the warmest day out of the next seven, and then temperatures kind of average a little bit below. Uh, the seasonal norms here for the rest of the weekend and through most of next week with a couple of showers. No big, huge storms, although Wednesday of next week we could have a little more widespread shower and thunderstorm activity. All right, thanks for that, Curtis. And coming up.